Let's look at this torque in a few more situations. So let's see, before we had the B field to the right, and we had the square sitting like this in the B field. Let's just think, what if we reverse the direction of the current? What if the current went that way? Well, let's see, if we think about it, just go back to the forces, it's IL, the vector L, along the current crossed with a B field. We know up here there's zero force. I'll write a zero there because the L vector, the, the direction of the current is along the B field. We know down here the force is zero because it's anti-parallel to the B field, so that cross product is zero. But then down here, L is down. And we cross that with B. Let's see, I didn't practice. L crossed with B is out, so the force is out on this side. And here, L is up. So let's see, L crossed with B in, the force is in on that side. So what you can see is, if you reverse the direction of the current, it's going to spin the other way. Before we had it coming out, here we have it going in, again, from the operator's perspective. So let's turn it on again and have a look. Here's my big magnet. Here's the loop. Before, I made the current go this way, and it came towards me when I pulled the switch towards me. Let's do that again. This is just like before. Pull the switch towards me, and it came one way. Now I'm going to throw the switch the other way. Let's see, throw the switch the other way, and sure enough, it goes the other way. Okay. So that makes sense. Let's check another thing. What if we put the field through the loop? That kind of feels natural. That feels like what you should do. We should have field going through the loop to really make something happen. So let's think for a second. What would happen if we had the magnetic field pointing into the plane of the board and we had the uh, current or the current loop like this and we can say the current again going that way like the first example all right well let's see so uh, if we have the current going this way then on this section L is that way so L crossed with B into the board, the force on this part would be down. I meant to draw this on the outside. So the force on the top section is down. And then here, L is down. So L cross B, oh, the force is in. Take that one away. And then on the bottom section, L is now that way, L cross B, the force is up on that section, and maybe you can see the pattern emerging. Now L is up, For F cross, uh, L cross B, the force is in. So here, again, the net force is zero, but this shouldn't create a torque. This is really a compression. The only way that the body will move in this case is if it's highly compressible, if all the square could be shrunk due to the compressive forces. So we really shouldn't expect it to move. So let's see if this works. I'll turn the power supply back on, and I'm going to hold it right here. So the B field is going out and into the, uh, the square, the loop. We'll see what happens. Sure enough, it doesn't move. Eh, slightly. My fields aren't perfect, but it's not moving nearly as much as before. Let me pull down again. You can see it almost wants to, uh, it almost wants to com contract. Now I'll throw it the other way. Now, if you go through the numbers, it should want to expand. It's not compressible, it won't expand, but we can see that it doesn't really move. See, very little motion. So, everything about the current loop makes sense. Let's think a little bit more carefully about how to describe the torque now. 